Hello, my name is Mariona and I'm going to introduce your work about a generative dialogue system for reminiscence therapy. We'll start with the motivation of this work. Worldwide, around 50 million people have dementia and there are nearly 10 million new cases every year. It is estimated to double by 2050. Currently, as you probably know, there is no treatment that cures or stops Alzheimer's. Research has been only successful in terms of developing therapies that ease the symptoms without addressing the cause. One of the most used therapies is reminiscence, which stimulates memories of the patient's past by using objects, pictures or music. Reminiscence usually takes place in a care home or a hospital and is guided by a therapist. People with dementia might have some barriers to access these therapies, such as cost, availability or displacement to the care home. The goal of this work is to develop an end-to-end -end system that encourages users with mild cognitive impairment to talk about life experiences like a reminiscence therapy. The methodology is the following. The user must provide photographies of past experiences. Elizabeth will show one of these pictures and generate a question. The user must answer and explain. And Elizabeth will generate a feedback. And then she will ask another question about this picture. The flow is repeated for four to six times until the picture is changed and the cycle starts again. The system consists of two models, a visual question generator, which receives as input a picture and outputs a question, and the chat mode model, which receives as input the answer and outputs the feedback. This model is based on the well-known work of show, attend and tell, where the model generates descriptions from pictures. It's made up of an encoder with a CNN and a decoder with attention and recurrent neural network. But in our case, we wanted the system to generate questions about the image, so we needed a dataset of reminiscence therapy dialogues. We realized that there are no public datasets containing reminiscence therapy dialogues. So we use these datasets, which contain natural questions with the purpose of knowing more about the picture. Like one of these questions, do these people go voting a lot? Now we will see the chatbot model. It is a sequence to sequence model which generates a sequence of words given an input sentence. We want this model to generate feedback on the answer of the user to engage the user in the conversation. We use two datasets to train our chatbot model. The first one is Persona Chat, which contains dialogues between two people that are trying to know each other. And it is complemented by the Corner Movie Dialogue dataset, which probably you already know. We use Telegram as the interface for Elizabeth, which is a messaging application like WhatsApp. Users can start a conversation by typing Therapist Elizabeth, and then the comment start, as you can see in the example. Elizabeth will ask the user if he or she wants to talk about this first picture. In this case, the user taps yes, and the therapy starts. Elizabeth says, great, try to think in that moment as it was now. Explain me this image answering my questions. How old were you when this picture was taken? And the user replies, I think I was seven years old. Then Elizabeth generates the comment, you don't know that. And then another question, is this a haunted house? Finally, we designed a usability study where two users diagnosed of mild cognitive impairment interacted with the system with the help of a doctor and myself. The sessions lasted 30 minutes. And at the end of the session, we administrated a survey to ask participants about their assessment of Elizabeth. Both users found it engaging and even challenging. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the talk. Thank you.